I love a lot of things, but skiing to me was like way up here. Got that love and feeling. It just gives you that love and feeling, man. It's just, there's just nothing like it. Colorado can always count on snowy peaks and sunny skies. We all love it, right? We all love it. Consistency defines this place like it does for some people. I'm kind of superstitious. Brian Weens. I know this is gonna sound a little probably crazy. Is Colorado to his core. When these skis were done and I got a new pair of skis, I needed to transfer the energy from one ski to the next that I was moving on to. So I would take one of each ski and I'd leave them for like a week in the garage, like back to back. I said, look, we're transferring your karma and your energy into the new pair. Some little quirky thing about me. Brian can't give up what's been constant in life. I give my wife and my daughter a hard time for all their purses, yet my daughter threw it in my face about all the skis you have, Dad. And I was not, I really couldn't have a comeback for that one. 2020 begins like any other year. But Brian will brave more than blizzards as he carves out his place in Colorado ski history. I've skied at least once every month in Colorado for 292 months, almost 25 years. Every single month since August of 1995. I'm pretty sure that's Baldy and Gio. Brian skis touch snow somewhere in Colorado. Now he's six months short of 300 in a row. Oh, you're kidding. He skied every month? Respect. That's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. At 59, he's just as obsessed. Picked it up fell in love with it. As the kid, his parents remember. And I could not believe his skiing, how he came down those hills. He loves it. He loves it, you know. I always would tell him, you know, be careful. <laughs> this is a picture of me jumping the big corners up on Jones Pass. I was probably 19 or 20 years old. He never set out to ski for months on end. This was a sin before there was sin. A friend planted the idea, and it stuck. It'll be fun forever. Skiing is one constant in Brian's life. The second? This is wife. Now it's your turn to talk. I get tired of talking. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie volunteers for a hike, but she doesn't mind skipping a ski day. You know, it actually works great because we have a very independent life inside of a great marriage. It's taken some time for Brian and Val to find balance. Yeah, I mean, I probably in the earlier years when the kids are small and he was working 50 hours a week and all that. I probably resented it a little bit, to be honest. I think it's something within me that I don't really, honestly, I don't really have any control over it. Brian has one switch. It's on or it's off, period. Brian's switch stays on, even when 2020 starts to feel off. We've got a pandemic. It started in China and it's worked its way around the world. and. Ski areas have all closed. COVID-19 closes resorts and turns Brian to the backcountry. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in here in January, February, March, any of these months. Worrying if the pandemic will stop the streak in its tracks. Yeah, with the virus hanging around us, who knows what the future holds, but we'll get her done. And we found a new area today, which I think most people would be going, really? And it, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I, I will never, ever take for granted again just driving wherever I want to go and parking my car wherever I want to park it and skiing wherever I want to ski, ever. Yeah. You get thirsty, though, because we got plenty of water. The months keep climbing. The steps. And way out here, only wildlife seems to notice. Marmot on the rock there. See him? He's having breakfast. We interrupted his breakfast. We're just grabbing some turns on the snow that was falling that day in January. It's a good thing oxygen is free. Because if they charged for it, I'd be broke. Skiing in the summer is just a, it's a whole different animal. Every, every single thing about it's different almost, you know? The people that have done it, they get it. They get it big time, and, and if you haven't done it, they probably think you've got a few screws missing, you know? <laughs> First of all,
all, we've got to get on some snow and get it done, but uh, this will be 300 months, 25 years. An August day feels different oh, yeah. than it did in 95. Yeah. Well, then once you get started, it kind of feeds itself. It totally, yeah. Because Brian has yeah, company, his brother David. <laughs> he wouldn't yeah, miss this mountainous milestone, and neither would Brian's ski buddies. Got all my rowdy friends with us. You know, I've never had the opportunity to, to do any of the summer uh, skiing with him. So this is really special for me. Others have skied thousands of consecutive days or even more months in a row. Yeah, baby! But in 300 months of Colorado skiing, conditions have never been so perfect. It feels great. It just, I can't really compare it to anything really. It's, you know, I, it's just, it's great. It's a great feeling. 25 years, Woo! August 1st. Awesome. Thanks, man. That was killer. If you look at 25 years of your life and everything that happened, you know, the positive, the negative, the challenges, the joys. It makes you feel better. I'm getting tired. He's had this constant, this, the, you know, the streak has been a constant within that. This thing is steep. It was just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Yeah, makes you proud. A year went by, three years went by, five years went by, 10 years went by, and here we are at 25 years. I mean, it blows my mind too. For every ski day, Brian knows he sacrificed one at home. Right now, family is the only constant that matters. Sorry. <laughs> a little overwhelming. No, they're into it. They're into it totally. It's like they know I'm a wing nut. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and it just like it just kind of got away from all of us, but they're totally supportive. Twenty-five years. Yeah, brother. Maybe just the beginning. Why would he stop? Well, what what the hell else is he gonna do? <laughs> three hundred and three months. Now I'm shooting for seven two zero. To get it in every single month consistently for twenty five years, I guess, is a pretty big deal. If you know about that stuff, I only do because I'm married to him. <laughs> three hundred four, and finished off the. 2020, bye-bye. Even in 2020. Yeah, what a year. Colorado still brings sun and snow. We had more obstacles this last 12 months than I had in previous 24 years put together. As long as Colorado keeps it up. Get that love and feeling. Brian will ski down. It's just become so one with me that it just, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna sleep, and I'm gonna ski. Yeah, so uh, keep it going, man.